Here we go. So you just follow the coast. Approaching Elephant Castle roundabout, we should be safe if we keep our wits about us. Thanks for that, Boris. Now, nearly every day I come round from the right here, whoa, there you are, and uh, go round this way. And uh, it terrifies me because no one ever pays attention to that cross line that I've just been through. And you come round here with bikes and buses and cars going all over the place, and it's very scary. George's Circus now, where just a few weeks ago a bus deliberately tried to knock me off. Uh, the only reason was I was cycling slowly in front of him and he wasn't able to go as fast as he was doing right. there. It's Transport for London, uh, who are probably the uh, cause of all our problems. Uh, now we're coming out to the uh, Waterloo IMAX Junction, which is another one I do every day. There is actually uh, some cycling infrastructure here, but I can't actually work out what it's there for, or where it leads you, or why. It seems to lead you right in the middle of a... Uh, a uh, bus park uh, ahead, of, ahead of us and then it dumps you in the middle of a uh, junction precisely where you don't want to be. So this is a really good example of a really pointless and stupid piece of bike infrastructure just here on the left, just there. A very there, there. odd junction in there. People come flying around in all directions and I've seen a lot of lights jumping going on here. Lights have to come around from the right and then go off down there. And uh, more than once I've been uh, nearly hit by a car jumping these lights. Now we're around Vauxhall Gyratory which is a nightmare in a car uh, or a motorbike, let alone on a bicycle. Um, and it's about to be redeveloped and they could do something about bicycles here, but you suspect they're not going to. And uh, there is a bike lane which goes through where we've just been under the railway bridges, but it's really weird. And it kind of takes you over pedestrian crossings and then just avoid homeless people and then you're dumped out in the middle of the road and it's just really stupid. Parliament Square, uh, again another junction I would ride around if you paid me fast amounts of money. It's uh, just a nightmare really and um, we're being serenaded by Western Bradley which is very kind of. I did a cycle run here when I was a teenager. Uh, I'm not sure I'd do it now. Uh, I think I'm probably a more adventurous cyclist now than I was then. I think now it's just a lot busier and a lot more unpleasant. Right, now we're going down into Chicago Square. I come through here almost every day. Haymarket's bad enough, it's really badly surfaced and uh, yeah, it can bounce around all over the place on that. But coming down here, it's usually completely congested with buses and people pushing in and out and it's just a very unpleasant place to, uh, to ride. And you also get a good lung full of uh, diesel fuel. Blue Bridge, I come through here pretty much every morning. Through a nightmare, top end of Waterloo Bridge, where three lanes of traffic converge to two and everyone's jostling for position. Then we go over this lovely pedestrian crossing here on my left here, which uh, uh, often pedestrians don't really realise what's happening. And they just go uh, walking all the way down to uh, King's Cross, uh, which is a notorious junction and on the field here, a fashion student not that long ago. And it's a bit of a nightmare with traffic being squeezed and people coming from all sides. And the TFL have been told that it's a very dangerous junction and they didn't do anything about it. Yeah, it's a very wide pavement on our left. It's such a wide pavement, why can't we have a bicycle lane down here? Um, Moment, it looks pretty empty of pedestrians. Here we are, journey's end at Mum No Hands, and some final observations in that for every angry car or cab driver honking their horn, there's been a family with uh, a young child, and the parents have been pointing out to the children the cyclists going past, and they've been smiling and waving. There's been plenty of parents of young kids looking at us and thinking, oh, maybe I might like to do that. So, it's been a fantastic experience. I've really enjoyed it. And a uh, final observation, which I nearly forgot, is um, over to you now, uh, Boris, Mayor of London and TfL. Can you please uh, design us some streets which are safe to cycle in and which are safe for our children to cycle in? Uh, if you do, we'd be very grateful. Thank you very much.